Hey everyone, this is a week in review on a uh, TV show, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm letting you guys know ahead of time that this does include some spoilers, so if you haven't watched your favorite TV shows um, that I've listed below in the description, please make sure you don't watch this. I don't want to get yelled at, and if you do continue watching this, please, I've warned you, do not get mad at me. Okay, um, first things first, um, Monday, Heart of Dixie. I love that show. Um, but if you are also fans of Heart of Dixie, you are probably having the same frustrating time as me. Heart of Dixie was, I mean, it wasn't my favorite episode, but, um, it's not my favorite season. Um, I'm still sticking with it. Everyone that watches the show watches it for Zoe and Wade, clearly. Um, and what's frustrating me is they've brought in this character Vivian, who I don't hate. I actually liked her at the beginning, but I don't like her as Wade's love interest. I like Joel, but I don't like him as Zoe's love interest. I don't know what they're trying to do, but honestly they've screwed the, uh, the relationship between Zoe and Wade up so much that it's gonna take a miracle for those two to get together. And by a miracle, I don't mean a miracle, I mean Zoe, okay. I'm not saying the writers are gonna do this. Please don't take this as spoilers because this will probably not happen. But the only rational way that Zoe will ever be okay with dating Wade or saying that she loves Wade is if Wade, I don't even wanna say it, is really hurt, aka dying. Zoe's so stubborn that unless he's like dying or on his deathbed, I don't see him, them like reconciling or it being plausible for them to reconcile. Fosters. The Fosters. The Fosters is one of the best written, best acted shows on ABC Family ever. I know that Pretty Little Liars is pretty epic, but um, it is nothing compared to the writing and acting of the Fosters. Um, it was a very tense episode, very um, hard to watch at some points. The final scene, which I watched like 50 times, with Brandon and Callie, that was just perfect. I've never seen a hug mean so much. When Brandon was awkwardly standing on the street, which is so real, because you know you would do it too. And then Callie's reaction when she saw him, it was just made your heart just like, you just felt it. You really did feel it, and it was really awesome. I really enjoyed that episode. Uh, next is my Tuesday shows, which I think to this week there was only two of them. The originals. That was a good show, wasn't it? Um, it was better than this, the winter finale back in December. It was honestly the best show, uh, best episode of the season, I think. Um, two main reasons. One of them is because of Marcel. I won't bring her back, you know. This is your fault. I should have never let you anywhere near her. Marcel. The city was fine before you came. We were fine. Davina was safe. She was in control. If you hadn't gotten her worked up, if you hadn't killed that boy. My condolences, the girl is gone, but don't lose perspective. We still have our community, the vampires of this town. I don't care about the vampires. She is dead. Do you hear me? It was really nice to see Marcel's softer side. I knew it was going to be bad for Davina either way. I knew she was going to die either way. I was really hoping and cheering for her to come back. And it didn't happen. I don't think this is the end for Davina, but I think that we won't see her for a little while. Um, but the second thing that I have to say is what about that scene with 
um, Haley and Elijah. I'm sorry, Elijah. I have never seen Elijah so angry, and I figured that it wasn't gonna happen. But the kid, but it almost happened. The almost kiss was so good. I was really happy with the episode. It was very, very emotional. The Klaus speech to Marcel when um, he realized that he uh, that Davina was not gonna come back um, was very really really um, intimate and um, heartfelt. And I really I really enjoyed that episode. It was one of my favorites of the, this week. I love The Mindy Project. It is one of the least watched television shows on TV, but one of the best TV shows on TV. There seems to be a lot of that. Some of the best shows are not being watched. That's a shame. Just gonna say that. The Mindy Project was really good this week. There's a lot of funny moments. The Mindy and Danny parts were very um, tense, um, and I actually did not think that they were going to kiss, but they kissed. Hey. Hey, Danny, all these waters look the same. I, I just don't. I... I just I, I couldn't I couldn't hold it I watched that scene over and over and over again it was so good I loved it Thursday uh, I have to talk about Thursday the vampire diaries I love you but what was that um okay let me tell you what was wrong with that because I love love the vampire diaries and please correct me if i'm wrong but what was that vampire diaries you like crammed in every single person you could into that hour it was actually kind of annoying whole like weird thing with with stefan and elena stefan and elena at the travelers thing what was that about um no explanation there and Honestly, it seemed a little bit corny. Um, the ending was predictable. I predicted when we knew that Catherine was a traveler that she was going to go into Elena's body. I predict predicted that back when she was um, dying the first time when the tooth came out thing. And this is what's wrong with it. Catherine dying... <sighs> Would have been. I, would, I don't want. Catherine's one of my favorite characters. I like her more than Elena. I love Elena and Damon together, but Elena's character can sometimes be annoying. Catherine, I like, but if she was going to die, that was the episode to kill her off in because she was finally going to do something selfless and something good. And then they ruined it by her traveling into Elena. I'm like, Come on! I would have actually been okay with her dying if she just died after that but you know when she died and then came back and Elena was sitting there I'm like they're not gonna do it they can't do that and as the scene kept going on I'm like they're gonna do it they're gonna do it and then they did it and then yeah it was just it honestly it was just it was it was almost laughable half half of the time there are three things that saved it the first thing was actually Stefan's speech to Elena about not giving up on Stefan. I said that wrong. Stefan's speech to Elena telling her not to give up on Damon. So confusing. He said what everyone else was, say was saying. You and Damon broke up. Um, you shouldn't give up on him so easily because you never gave up on Stefan. You did everything you could to not give up on Stefan and he, Damon deserves the same 
treatment. If you love him enough, Damon deserves the same treatment. The other, this number two, there's three, was Alaric. Mm, I love Alaric. When I heard last season that they were going to bring somebody back, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one because there was a poll on this and Alaric was number one. Um, when they said that they were going to bring somebody back, I was like, Alaric, yes, Alaric, bring him back. And they didn't. I miss him. Hmm. Let's get to the main reason why this episode was actually bear bearable. Klaus and Caroline finally kissed, and I'm pretty sure they did more than kiss. They had to save the episode somehow, and Klaus, who is he, and, and the reason why they saved it is for because of a character that's not even on the show anymore. Ugh, actually, two characters that are not on the show anymore. Hmm. That's all I'm going to say about or the original, not the originals, the Vampire Diaries. Kind of disappointing. I was expecting so much more. But... Let me tell you, talk about an episode that I actually really, really, really enjoyed. Um, the Rain. Have you guys watched Rain? Because clearly not enough people are. Um, I'm going to go get my cat in a second. It sounds like you. Do you hear that? Miko. What are you doing? My cat is freaking out. I'm going to put you down, okay? She was freaking out. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's move on because I don't have a lot of time. The only thing I do have to say about this this episode is I was hoping, maybe it's just me, I was hoping that Bash and Mary would be on the run for a little longer, like a whole episode and then move on. Um, I wasn't thrilled that within like 10 minutes of this of the episode, Bash and Mary got c captured and brought back to the castle. Other than that, it was a very good episode, full of tension and just like suspense. You just didn't know what was going to happen. One of the reasons why this was such a great episode was King Henry. You will marry my son Francis and accept our nation's support as you and your new husband lay claim to England, or I will execute my son, my subject Bash, for the treason of costing me England. He offers up his son, telling Gary that if she doesn't marry Francis, that he's going to behead his son. It was it was an intense episode. The scene where Mary and Francis were talking and Mary was telling him of the prophecy and and Francis was begging her to just keep, like be with him. Mary. You cannot let superstition of fear rule your life. He was trying to be with her, and it was really, really, really sad to watch that. Um, my favorite scene, though, was um, Francis beating up Bash, because then he, re at that point, he realized that Bash is going to get everything he ever wanted. He's going to get Mary. He's going to get the kingdom. He's going to get everything, and Francis is left with nothing but his freedom. And right now it seems like Francis is okay with that, but you know he's he's not. I found you. It was an intense episode. I'm trying to think of my favorite episode this week, and I'm try I honestly think it was Rain. I, I, Rain or the originals, one of those two. Those two really surprised me this week, um, and I really enjoyed both of those. So I hope you enjoyed this week in review. So let me know what, which episodes you liked, which shows you watch, and please let me know if um, you disagree or agree with anything that I say. Make sure you subscribe, and um, I will see you guys later. Bye. You are setting the course of nations.